Time and time again here at Crick HQ, we get asked, what bat should I get? What does it look like? What's the profile, weight? All these questions that keep coming in through email. So what we want to do is we want to help you as a grassroots cricketer to choose your bat. So I want to welcome you to the first Honest Bat Review by Crick HQ. So welcome to the first Crick HQ Honest Bat Review. And the first bat we're going to try out is the one that I ended my career on, the DSC Intense Pro. This is a player's bat, but what we'll do is I'll take you through the process of how I actually go and decide on which bat I want to choose. Um, so let's open this puppy up. It's been a while. Okay, so first thing I would do with the bats, obviously I'm in a shop, I've got a selection of bats. I might go for make first, uh, I might go for pure look. Um, but firstly, what I want to see is the profile. Profile for me is the most important thing. Now by profile, I mean side on profile. You generally get low swell, mid swell and high swell bats. And that would sort of determine how you hit the ball. Where do you hit the ball when you're hitting it in the middle, when you're hitting it best? Now I would generally hit the ball about over there which is a mid swell. So this bat, the apex of the back of the bat is where the middle would be. So that's pretty much spot on for me, right in the middle there. So mid swell, select my bats with mid swell, then it would be about picking the bat up. So about the weight of the bat. So some bats might feel really heavy pickups, some feel quite light. Um, you can check the weight of the bats. Uh, generally, a weight now, professionals would play with between 2.8 pounds and 2.10. Um, someone like Gale, obviously physically dominant, I think he bats with something almost 3 pounds. So, someone a little less bulky and powerful, like me, um, I'm looking for something around that sort of 2.7 to 2.9 max. And if it feels good, you just get into your stance, have a feel, back lift and that'll take you to the next step. So profile, weight, now I go to the grain of the bat. Grain of the bat's quite important. Um, you essentially as a, as a professional you're probably looking for between 9 and 11 grains. Um, as an amateur grassroots cricketer maybe you know a lot less than that maybe even six to eight grains. Now the reason why you're looking at your grains is the tighter they are, so the more grains they are, the softer the wood. The less uh, sort of your bat is going to last, it's not going to last as long. The, um, the less grains you have, um, so let's say six to eight, the harder the wood, the longer your bat will last. It might not feel as good from the start, it will take a while to knock in, but still once it's knocked in, doesn't mean it can't be as good as, as a player's bat or a bat that gives you sort of eight, nine to eleven grains. So look at the grains, profile, feel. I like something with a, a square toe, um, so that's a bonus for this one. The other thing is handle. So with the handle or the grip of the bat, uh, you can get oval handles, um, which I find fit really nicely into the you know the bottom hand, just in there. Or you can get a round round handle. So oval or round are the two options. Um, and lastly, if you really wanted to go into big detail. Just look at the, um, the craftsmanship of where the handle goes in at the splice. See how well it's put in. Handles can make a difference, the quality of handle that goes in. That's uh, my review on this DSC. Um, we're gonna have to feel, this, is, this, this bat was specifically made for me. Um, and it's two pound eight, mid swell, square toe, oval handle, and 11 grains. So it should go like an absolute cracker. Always a nice feeling getting a new bat and having that first hit with it to see what it's like. And um, I'll just encourage all grassroots cricketers, I think, you know, obviously you've got your specific brands that you might want to use, but you know, line them up. Line up, you know, 10 bats, get a feel for them all. And the last test would be just to get a, a decent ball. And I think the ball makes a huge difference. If you can get a um, Kookaburra turf ball, which is an international ball, or a, um, a Duke from England, 
um, and get that to feel on the willow. It, it makes a difference. If you're using a rock or a cheap ball um, on your willow, it might not feel as good. So then get a good ball and just bounce it up and down and see what sort of uh, spring it's got or whatever word you want to use for it. But those are my tips for picking a bat. Um, good luck for your next purchase and let's see how this bad boy goes. Feeling the DSC in Tens Pro. Um, grains, top of the range. Straight 11, unbelievable. Good quality willow. Uh, profile, unbelievable. Thick edges, um, perfect swell for me. Uh, and ping off the bat, also unbelievable. So, overall, with this bat, I'm probably going to, we're going to give it ratings out of 10. I'm going to probably give it an 8. Um, the only thing for me was just slightly heavy on the picker. That's the only thing. So looking forward to any other suppliers that want to do our honest bat review. Come to Crick HQ and we'll help you grassroots cricketers pick a bat for you. That's best fit for your play this season. <laughs>